Hey guys, you know me. I'm gonna take a couple flashlights and run them over today. High-end LED lights that are pretty reasonably cost. They're through night, through night lights, LED. Let's, just, let's run them over with the rig, see what happens. The air brakes are coming off. We're gonna put them under the tire. If they still light up after, buy the lights. That's all I got to say. Now, should we put these under the grass? This one under the grass? We're under the tar. I think we'll do the tar. Hey guys, the light is on right now. It's perfect, brand new. I'm gonna shove it under this tire. I don't know how we should run it over. I don't know if it's gonna take it, guys. We'll soon find out. Oh my goodness. This thing just got run over by a semi truck and it didn't even hurt it. Look. It didn't even round it or nothing. A semi truck just ran over this flashlight. The back tire of it, do you know how much this thing weighs? Two and a half times, two to two and a half times a pickup truck. Perfect. The only thing it did is put a little nick in it right here. You can see? But it didn't round it, out of round or anything. Amazing. This was over tar, guys. I cannot believe that just did that. I'm actually so excited, I'm shaking because I was wanting to do this video for a long time and I did not think it was gonna take it. I thought for sure this is gonna round it. That's a lot of weight right there because if you look at this truck right here, this is a toter truck and they welded underneath that hitch, that's an air ride hitch, and they welded um, two inch thick steel plates in the back of here and in the back of there. So they put 15 to 2,000 pounds of extra steel so it would ride smooth when you're going RVing. We are V.TV, that's what we do. The Deprays. But this flashlight, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm actually proud of this light. Right here, see it? I like it, I'm really, really impressed. Through night, you came through, and, and you just blew me away, because I was like, taking you as a joke. But not until I just ran over with my truck, that's no joke. I mean, I don't understand how that could have took that. It's got to be a lot of weight back there, so I don't know. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty excited. I mean, this is a pretty heavy truck. This is he this is about as heavy duty as it gets. Um, pretty close. It's a full size heavy duty truck. I mean, it's a 10 speed, and you guys all know this truck. I'm just still learning how to shift it. But Doodle is getting her bath. She's gonna get a haircut. First. She's gonna get a haircut. She's gonna fall off the edge, Fred. Exactly. She hates. She hates getting haircuts. Hey guys, I built. I bought a new filter. It's a dew point. I actually purchased this for right here, so I can go uh, just in and out. It's just gonna go outside my RV, but I'm gonna try to sneak it in here or on this wall, probably here, so I can get the hose to go through it. Um, it's oh, a cheap filter. It's 15 bucks. It's usually like 40, 50 bucks in the store. It comes with a mountain bracket and a filter. It's just a sediment filter. It's a heavy duty sediment filter before it goes into the main filter for the house, which is a charcoal filter, and then I got the RO system. So I, you know, I think from being on this health bench, I actually got kidney stones. But I didn't get kidney stones, I've already always had kidney stones. But what's going on is they're releasing, because I'm eating so healthy, all the stones are flushing out and everything. I already passed a couple of zone, uh, stones and I have another one, I think, because I'm in pain in my right kidney. But, um, it feels good to get that out of there before it gets too bad. You know, they get too big and you gotta surgically get them out. So I've had a scan done last year and they had a couple little ones. So I hope they, I hope they didn't get too big, but um, I've been doing a lemon and stuff, the lemon drink and apple cider vinegar and all that good stuff. And like 20 cups, 15 glasses of water a day, 20 to flush it out. So, um, so I'm gonna install this right now and you can never have too many filters. I don't care if anybody says, oh, it slows your water flow down. So what? Let it slow down a little bit. Ours doesn't slow down much. We have like one, we have one house filter and we had another filter on hose and it didn't slow it down. So I don't know if it's gonna slow it down with two filters, but I almost want it to slow it down a little bit before it goes into the RV so it doesn't have as much pressure on the pipes. I couldn't fit it in there because I had I didn't have a short extension and I have to mount it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on the hose, which is the same exact thing. Um, it was only 15 bucks, it's no big deal. I guess someone could poison this, put poison in there, and 
but they could poison your hose anyways they could take it off and just under your hose and put so it's the same thing there, there's really no difference oh you're pretty girls you just got haircuts oh look at the camera bulb you want food is that what you want a little snack sit back get back we'll get a little snack because you got a haircut wait sit sit go girls oh you're good well i thought that water filter was just gonna screw right on but that's not the case I need a male, female, female, male, 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 female, female. I don't know what the heck I need. I need to get a couple of these. New airbag. I started the car. I was like, boom. Well, for, I hope they put it in right. Well, it's 420. On 420. On 420. So time is 420 and today the date's 420. <laughs> so people are probably smoking some Marajini. Do you smell that? We don't smoke, but I bet you there's a lot of people smoking some Marajini. I bet you if we did, we would be a lot less stressed crazy out. Crazy and stressed out. But we don't. Instead, we take the legal crazy pills. We take the legal crazy pills, yeah. The ones that cost a lot. Probably a lot more than marijuana, right? We just went grocery shopping. Went grocery shopping and we got a bunch of stuff to top mount the tank, to mount the water filter. Stuff to fix my hair. Heather, it's going orange again. Heather splurged on her hairdo again. Because, I don't know, this park water. How much you spend? Shit How much you spend? I spent twelve dollars. Buy one you get told me one six. free. You told me six. It was buy one get one free. What we did is I just put it on a board. I screwed it to the board with some stainless steel screws. It ain't going nowhere. And uh, I had to get some male female adapters. Bra I mean, each end just to fit in here. The pipe fitting in was like four bucks an end. It's like eight bucks. The filter is fifteen, and each it was nine dollars just for the ends. Hey Fred, you got to end the video for our tubers. Is there any reason why every time I'm doing my hair that I have to end the video? Yep. What? So you know what to do. What? Looking like Medusa. Can I please finish my hair? Well, you guys know what to do. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.